I saw where the bombs were falling. I came to try and find you. Thank God you are all right. Let's try to walk over to the shelter. Can you make it? I, I think so. She's coming. We have to. We have to hurry. Okay. okay we can stay here for now. You're safe. My husband. He's. He's a. He's a doctor at the hospital. I want my husband. Well, hopefully you won't need a doctor. You have me. I don't want him because he's a doctor. I want him because he's my husband. Y y yes, of course. All right. The hospital is not far. If the service is still running, maybe I can get someone to find him. Don't leave me! No. Listen to me. I will never leave you. Not for one second. Not until the both of you are safe. That explosion you just heard. I died during it. For the last hour, I've been trying to get my patients to safety so that I could find my wife and evacuate her. She's due any day. As the last of the patients are being loaded up into the ambulance, at least those that could be moved, I picked up my phone to text her that I was coming. I waited a minute too long. I saw for a moment as long as a lifetime the shell land in front of me before I pollinated into blood and bone. My name is Kate and I'm a nurse. What do you need? I'm a midwife and this woman is an advanced labor. A midwife? I didn't know we had any midwives around here. It's a new program. There are only three of us so far. A new program, meaning you have no experience? We need to get her to the hospital. Her husband works there. Maybe we can find him. There is no hospital. It's gone. <sighs> then... Then we should find her husband. There's nobody there. They're gone. <laughs> it's just us. <laughs> if there's an aid tent right over there, I'll help you get her there. <laughs> How could they bomb the hospital? How could they bomb the hospital? How indeed. We paint crosses and crescents over the rooftops to avoid such mistakes. For over a century, they've been symbols of sanctuary and mercy. Now, they're just easier targets. Can you walk? I, I think so, but she's coming. We have to hurry. Let's go. Try to breathe through your next contraction. We need to get you somewhere safer with more privacy if possible. They say when a person is killed before their time, they walk for a spell on the earth, trying to hold on to the things they hold most dear. In my last moments, all I could think about was you. I chose strangers more than those I love more than myself. How will you ever forgive me? How will my child ever forgive me? My only comfort is knowing that, that you are not alone. Here we are. You feel an urge to push? I have my kit here, but can you assist me? No, 
Yeah, what do you need? We have a precipitous birth in a conflict zone, and we need to make sure she's safe and has privacy. I see you have a wash station here, so can you stay with her while I wash my hands? Can you manage neonatal resuscitation if necessary? Yeah, I work in the hospital NICU. Great. <laughs> Is it okay if I conduct an exam to determine how soon your baby will be arriving? and I'll gently ease the baby out. Right on. Your placenta's gonna come right out. A daughter. A daughter. Knowing you're alive, I can feel my grip on the world loosen. I could see in your miniature face a thousand feelings of chaos and joy. Little expressions flashing by that I have seen and cherished on your mother's face. My own mother's smile. And a thousand generations leading to this moment. As your consciousness begins and mine fades, I cannot even remember what side of this conflict I'm supposed to be on. I no longer feel guilt or regret. Only love and hope. As I watch you rest your head on your mother's breast, the warmth of her body enveloping yours, the touch of your chin to her, to her skin, rooting your mouth to her breast for that warm sip of milk, that first drink, mother and daughter, catching the trick of love through the light of her smile. Hmm. They say that it is this moment of bonding that truly cements a person's ability to care for someone else, and that without it, we may never truly know how our actions affect others, for good or for ill. So maybe it is this moment, this very moment, in the noise and the chaos of knowing that there is somebody out there that cares, 
and that you can care for. Maybe that's how hope is born. We are not alone. The smell. I can no longer smell burnt metal or sulfur. I can only smell my newborn. She smells of the sea. It's time for you to go now. Must I? <laughs> 